Now, as the year comes to a close, let's take a look at how the Indian space sector fared. 2022 was a year of many firsts for both India's government-run space agency, ISRO, and the fledgling private space sector. The government and private sector worked in close coordination to enable a greater future for private firms and startups that want to carry out space activities in India. Here's a report by our correspondent Siddharth MP. Listen in. Twenty twenty two is a year that marks the full fledged resumption of rocket launch activity by the Indian Space Agency ISRO. The pandemic years twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one had led to a severe slowdown in activity. There were only two launches each in twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one. However, 2022 saw a much improved pace and five rocket launches were carried out by the government-run ISRO. Here are some highlights. On the 7th of August, India launched its newest rocket, small satellite launch vehicle SSLV on its maiden flight. The rocket is meant to enable launch-on-demand services aimed at fulfilling customer needs. It can place up to 500 kg satellites into low Earth orbit, roughly 600 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The rocket ejected the satellites in space and proved the workability of most of its crucial systems. However, a software error in the rocket caused the mission to fail and the satellites were lost. On 23rd October, in a midnight launch, India's heaviest rocket, LVM-3 or Launch Vehicle Mark III, performed its first ever commercial mission. It was carrying 36 satellites of the UK-based firm OneWeb. All the satellites, weighing a total of six tons, were lofted successfully into orbit. Notably, this is also the heaviest payload to be lifted by an Indian rocket. Contracts with one web for two launches, bringing in more than 1,000 crore rupees in revenue to the Indian Space Agency's commercial arm. This mission further established the capability of the LVM-3 as it was the rocket's fifth consecutive successful flight. Three, two, one, zero. On the 18th of November, the first privately designed and developed Indian rocket took to the skies from the government spaceport in Sriharikota. The rocket Vikram S is built by a space startup Skyroot Aerospace. As planned, the rocket flew to the upper atmosphere and demonstrated its capabilities successfully. This gives enough confidence to the startup to build and launch a space-faring rocket by the end of 2023. Cut to the 26th of November and India's workhorse rocket, the PSLV, placed into orbit nine satellites. Among them was a satellite jointly developed by India and Bhutan to help the neighboring nation with mapping needs. In addition to that, there were nano satellites built by Indian startups that were placed in orbit. It is the first time that satellites built by Indian startups are being launched by an Indian rocket and more are to follow. On the 28th of November, an Indian startup, Agnikul Cosmos, announced India's first ever private rocket launch pad and mission control. This new facility has been established within the premises of India's spaceport, Satish Dhawan Space Center. Agnikul is now working towards their maiden rocket launch from their all-new launch pad. With 2022 closing on a high note, an exciting 2023 lies ahead for the Indian space sector. Four rocket launch missions in the first three months of 2023. That's how ISRO's launch calendar looks like. Chairman ISRO Dr. S. Somnath had told Beyond that the four launches will involve four different rockets. First up is a mission by SSLV, India's smallest and newest rocket. The first mission of SSLV was a failure, so the second flight is meant to validate the rocket and test its systems. Then, of course, there is the second flight, which will be of the GSLV rocket, which will be carrying Navic or a navigation satellite for India's own purposes. Third will be a commercial launch, which India is undertaking for a UK-based firm known as OneWeb. This will involve the heaviest rocket, LVM-3. And finally is a science mission known as Aditya L1, which will be launched by the workhouse rocket PSLV. This, of course, is a science mission which is meant to study the sun, and it will be India's first mission to study the sun. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP. We on World is